Hey, 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 it's me, Thermos Jar. Let's talk about something interesting. Like, I was sitting down and thinking. You know, T Space Marine came out. It just wiped Helldiver's nose and made him bloody. So, let's think. What kind of controversies will this game get into? But before we go ahead and talk about that, uh, I would like you to leave a message, a uh, comment, or di like, dislike if you feel like it on the video. And uh, let's get into it. So, Health Divers 2. Let's remember all the controversies this game went to. Um, number one, if you remember the Sony PlayStation always logged in uh, thingy that, uh, yeah, we didn't like. Uh, two, the LGBT representation in game that uh, kind of sparred a practically huge ass backlash. Uh, then the removal of Helldivers 2 from Steam for 170 countries. Uh, yeah, if you are one of those who didn't get that removed, good for you. But though, there's a lot of people who got that removed, by the way. Uh, the Discord moderators banning anybody who was saying something bad about furries. I'm gonna post that on the windows now. You can see it that I'm what I'm talking about. This was outrageous and plenty more outrages in the background Same goes to the re first released uh, update the big uh, Freedom of something escalation of freedom that was so disappointing that practically half of the Helldivers community First was shitting on the youtubers who were predicting that shit and then begging down on the fucking knees saying oh my god You guys were right. Holy shit, right? so Let's talk about it. It's literally the most straight downfall you can imagine for a live service game Some will argue with me that the game is still fine even with 6,000 players online Yes, it's actually still healthy numbers for a game like that, but but Let's be honest, um, Helldivers as a game is finally coming to its conclusion that their lack of updates with their lack of care for the player base and the development team sitting down and thinking the most important thing is to balance the game weapons? Yeah, they're not really... Let me, let's be, let, let me be honest with you, viewer. Helldivers development team, aka being handheld by Sony can't really do anything to help the game to be better because they're all handheld by Sony if the Sony wasn't behind them like that with their you know regulations maybe would have we would have had something better but now we're stuck with what we have you can hate the game you can hate the whatever they hiring for moderators you can do anything you want. We will not change. It will be constantly a um, war bond spam of, you know, useless war bond spam game where players are thinking that if you get money by aka super credits by playing, which is artificially difficult, to, by the way, it's, it's actually artificial difficulty. Some data miners found that there is a possibility to up and down. Uh, players getting specific numbers of super credits depending how much you have and how much your entire squad that's playing that level gets it's pretty insane if you want you can go look for that on uh, reddit um, with conclusion to Helldivers I personally think the game will falter sooner or later of course as any but uh, you know I was a fan it was a good thing to see run, but they kind of run it to the ground. And nothing we can do about it. No matter what we do, Helldivers 2 is a dead game. But let's switch to something else. Something more positive. Something that is actually rocking the internet. And maybe there's some potentially good stuff coming out in the horizon. Well, Space Marine 2. I already made a video about it, which uh, was me pretty much complaining about linearity but that doesn't mean the game is bad I mean I mean we all have our quirks I hate linearity I hate grinding as well by the way so so far the game only has one controversy is the epic launcher as much as it's annoying malware it's still considered to be a secret uh, you know installed uh, 
and players can't really get rid of it unless they just use a pirated version. Other than that, I'm looking forward what the Eastern European development team of this game has to offer. Will it be very based and red build, or is it gonna be completely and utterly disgraceful with its uh, season pass and everything else related? Because first Space Marine had a problem. Its DLCs were kind of shit. Will this DLC ridden game have a success? I really hope. I really hope they do single player missions. I really hope they are not gonna focus simply on co-op and they're actually gonna progress the story in another way possibly. Like, I love playing story games. This is a story game. You get to play shoot shit and you can still progress a story. But if they're gonna focus on bloody multiplayer like they did with the first one, it's gonna be the biggest disappointment ever. But that's for us to see in the future. So, without me yelling and yapping about Space Marine and Helldivers, um, I want to wish you guys to have a fun weekend, which is upcoming. Have a blast in Space Marine 2. If you enjoy Helldivers, play Helldivers. And this was Thermos Jar with another beautiful rant. And, uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, dislike, and see you later in the next one.